All right. Hello. How are you doing today, guys? Great to see you here. How? Pay attention because I'm going to teach you how to speed up your manifestation. Wow. So let me see here as I'm waiting for you guys to join and I'm getting downloads here. What to tell you about this stuff here. I want to see everybody. Everybody check in, check in. Let's check in. Let's check in, guys. Let's check in. Good morning again. Let's check in from India. Good morning from India. Hello from Portugal. Hello, Toronto here. Germany. Blessings from Germany. All my tribe, check in. <clears throat> location, location. Texas, London, Philadelphia. Beautiful. What, what we got? Hey, Greg. Hey, Percy. Hey. Uh, let me see the names I could go down here. I got all you guys checking in. Um, Amritha, Dion, Afgar, Amritha, Andre, uh, Arlene, Lovebe, Tanisha, Kaki. Good. Hello, hello. Check in. North Carolina. Not today. From North Carolina. Jensen, LE from London. Beautiful. All right. Atlanta, California. Adam from Pennsylvania, Wisconsin. Oh my goodness, you guys are just We have we have agents all across the globe. We have high manifesting agents. You are the high manifesting agents. All you've been strategically placed in your particular location by you and your higher authentic self. Atlanta per usual. Yes, yes, yes. Belize Michigan, Michigan loves me. Thank you, I love Michigan. Australia, oh my goodness, Australia. Meditation for beginners. All right, so can we, shall we proceed, Orlando? Oh, wow, From, there's a lot of Philadelphia here, guys. Philippines, hey, wow. Italy, beautiful Italy. Yeah, my books are not available in India. I don't know. I have to find, you know, my books aren't available a lot of places, man. In China, it takes long. So what I did, I, I have some um, other content creators in China, Bilbilly. And um, they watch my content and one of them watched it and she won a big lottery jackpot in China. So she's been um, helping me promote my stuff. She, she translates the books for me. In China, she does the digital books. So, so my, I'm so happy my teachings are helping so many people, and they're giving back. So she's helping me. So maybe you're someone. If my book's not available. Maybe you, we can work together, and we can get a system together where you can get it to more people that need it and translate it. Um, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing, right? Speaking about my books, um, the cheat code. Everyone should have that book, especially the lottery book. You guys. All should have that book lottery book lottery book go tell your friends go spread the word it's not about lottery and I'm gonna show you something deep right now I'm gonna show you something very very powerful you see the title of today's video is what pay attention how to speed up your manifestation I have to caution you and I have to remind you that every single person that watches this video that this video has found you. If you've been following me for years, for months, for whatever it is, I must caution you to tell you, you cannot go back. Once the universe turns you on, there is no turning off. You are going to see things that are gonna shift your whole belief system. You are going to get into a state of depression, of anxiety, because you're leaving a world that you were lied to and accustomed to and your ego will resist it. Some people, when the universe does this to them, they're, they are in a shock because they want to go back to the play play world that they were fooling themselves. So I'm cautioning all of you that again, if the universe chose you, you cannot turn the lights off. Once you see it, you cannot unsee it. So get used to it. 
adjust your mind because you are going to elevate to higher level and let me show you the first example of that again so here I have another ticket another claimer that I just picked up and I'll tell you the story of this ticket all right to, to, to drive it home to you that you are in a simulated world that you control by your own actions and thoughts you're in a movie right let me tell you something let's talk about physics let's talk about the laws of randomness or what we call chance or luck or probability okay let's talk about that All right I want you to comment if you're a scientist sci scientists watch this stuff too if you're uh, in the world of science or anything I want you to tell me about the law of randomness the laws of probability, the laws of actualities. Well, not actualities, let's talk about the laws. They have laws of randomness, right? So you all hear that, and this is tied, this is gonna be tied into how to speed up your manifestation, okay? So we've all learned and heard about statistics, the law of average, everything must go back. It's a random world, it's a coincidental world. Well, I'm here to tell you there is absolutely nothing coincidental happens. Yes, my friends, even the perceived negative thing that happened in your life is not a coincidence. It is a part of a bigger play that you consciously cannot fathom or see right now. Oops, sorry, I think it's disconnected there. We do not live in a random world. We do not live in a random universe, all right? So let's go. Statistics 101. Yes, statistics 101. I'm here to break the mold. There is no statistics. Okay, if you're someone, this I'm talking about the lottery now and I'm going to something else. If you're someone that you want to win the lottery, see? Another claimer. Happened. When I get these tickets, I will either check them a couple weeks, a couple days, or I'll check them immediately based on my inner being telling me. But let me tell you the story of this ticket right here. Tell you the story of this ticket. And I want to show you something deep. So I, today, I'm out and I'm in the store. And I get the intuition and the nudge to go purchase scratch ticket. Okay, got, play, got my regular numbers. I play some numbers too. You know, I've been super, superimposing these numbers. So I've still got my numbers I'm playing. So I go got a couple of my numbers and I go get this I stare. So I'm looking and the nudge says get a ticket. So I'm looking at the thing and I see I say okay what's calling me? I say let me get that ticket right there. And then let me and then this ticket the next ticket up. I said ah uh, I looked at the ticket and then I was like no never mind. What happened there? Why would I say never mind? My ego. I'm teaching you now. See, not, not my ego. But here, here, here's 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 the loop that I'm gonna throw. Here's, this is the loop that's gonna throw at you now. Here's the loop. I didn't I didn't initially wanted to get this ticket. So she pulled the ticket out, and I was like, ah, oh, never mind. I'll just take the other ticket. And as she pulled the ticket out, she's closing up the thing to close the ticket. The ticket wouldn't go in to close. She's like, you know when you pull the ticket out, you put peel it, the thing got stuck, so she couldn't close. So I'm like, okay, I gotta go. She's like, I can't get this ticket to close. It says Mark, the only way to close this ticket, you have to buy that ticket. I was like, all right, all right, let me get the ticket. She ripped the ticket off, the thing closed. Explain to me what just happened. Tell me about what just happened. Even though I did not want to get the ticket, what happened? Did I miss something? It's a sign to get it. Okay? Flow. Correct. This is from Nora. This is what I, this is the lesson I want you guys to understand. There is no randomness in the universe. Every single thing 
is working out in your favor. Even if your ego stops you, listen to this, even if your ego stops you, your subconscious mind will kick in. Your higher self will kick in. If you are aware, you will get it. How many people would have done what I've done? Who, how many of, I know all of you would have done this because you are all aware. That's right, you're the source of So what happens here, guys, the point is this. No matter where you go or what you're doing, you can never miss your blessing. You will never miss your abundance. So if you're thinking like, oh, I missed my chance, that wasn't your chance. It wasn't for you. This ticket, here it is, this ticket again. It was for me there. The ticket wouldn't close. The ticket didn't want to go in. The lady said, I cannot get this ticket and I have to open this up and then re-put the ticket out. That was going to take more time. And I could have time. I had to go. I had to come do this in my life and talk to you guys. And then I was like, the only way for this lady to close this thing is the ticket was already hanging out. I was like, give me the ticket. She gave me the ticket. As I walked out with the ticket, I already knew this ticket was a winner before I even scratched it. Because there's no randomness. This is not a random thing. This ticket is a $500 and it has a doubler on it which makes it $1,000. There, no, there is no randomness in this thing. Thank you for the 888. So here's, what, here's my lesson to you guys. Here's what I want you to understand. And I, talk, I brought, brought this over there. I said once the universe chose you, you can't go back. Here's what happens. To speed up your manifestation, it goes as follows. And this, this ties into it. You don't have a problem or an issue manifesting what you want. You have a problem or an issue creating resistance to what's already yours. I repeat it again. You don't have problems manifesting anything you want. Your only true problem or, or issues you have is the resistance to allow your uh, desires to come into your reality. Why does the ego do basic things to distract us once it has, cho once it has chosen us? Because even when the universe cho cho chooses you, your ego is still a par part of the package. You evolve. Your ego does not. See what I'm saying? Your ego is still in the state of resistance, in the state of protection. It's your awareness to the ego that will keep you out of that state. Whenever The thing is, whenever the universe chooses you, you will have higher awareness. And it's the awareness that gives you the key to, did, to do what I just do. If I wasn't aware that the lady was pulling the ticket, if I wasn't aware to get that ticket, it would happen. 90% of people wouldn't do that. You are the t you, All of you would do that because I'm teaching you. You know how this stuff works. But 90% of individuals that would go, they would go there and they would say, Ah, oh, man, all right, hurry up. They would leave. They would wait for her to put it back in. And they would move on with their way. The universe and your inner being is constantly talking to you. So the question is, yes, so how to overcome the resistance? So here's how it works. There are two fundamental laws of the universe that you cannot escape. These two laws will help you to release resistance. Law number one, there is nothing but existence. You cannot not exist. All you know is existence. You can, you'll always be aware of something. You're aware of here, and when you leave here, you're gonna be aware of something else somewhere else, not here. But there's only one constant flow in the universe, and that is the state of existence and awareness. If you think about existence, I just told you, you cannot not exist. So let's go deeper. It literally means that you are infinite. If you're infinite, you have experienced every possible life form, life situation, life experience that has occurred. Not only once have you experienced it, but you have experienced it infinite times. 
So all of this is all old news to you. You get rebirth, reborn, your memory gets wiped, and you play the game again. The memory gets wiped from the conscious mind. It never gets wiped in the subconscious. It stays there until you become aware, and then you go retrieve it. All right, so that's law number one. You're, you're, there's nothing that exists. Law number two says that your state of being will, is always one of abundance and prosperity. Your natural state of being is to feel good, happy, healthy. That is the natural state of your being. You cannot escape that state. It is tied to you. Okay, Mark. Well, if that's true, then why do I get depressed? Why do I create resistance? Why do I get so much anger? Why do I get so much frustration? Why do I doubt myself? Why do I why are these things happening, Mark? Well, here's what's happening. What's really happening is a different perception on your ego. Your ego will create a perception of these situations. But nevertheless, your true state can never change. So it's not that you cannot manifest stuff. It's just that you have to get out of your way to let it come in. Yeah, that's where the resistance comes. The resistance is us blocking us. You see how it works? Or oh, the school, someone said the school platform. The school platform created for you guys. Told you, go invest in yourself. Get into my school. You will learn things you have never learned. I teach a lot in these videos, but in the school, it's a whole different level. It's a whole different game. I'm more able to just do things, say things in there that I couldn't say here, or share things in there that I cannot share here, and a lot of stuff about lottery, everything in there, remote view and all that. We get, we go deep in that school, and there's always, uh, there's already lots of results in that thing. I'll put the link in the description, and you go sign up and become a part of the school. Every week, weekly coaching Zoom calls. A lot of my stuff, you get my free books in there, everything. All right, so, is the fact that we have to get out of our own way to manifest. So Mark, how do I speed up the manifestation process of what I want or what I desire? Here's the answer. <clears throat> the first thing you're gonna do, okay, you have to now become, understand that you are infinite. You can only exist. Everything that exists has already been a part of you. You've already experienced it. So for many of you out there that want to win the lottery, the dream to manifest your house or your car whatever it is I have news to tell you this is not your first rodeo you've actually done these things before Donna do you know why Mark always say to you guys hey whenever you're gonna manifest or whenever you want to create something you want to make it normal why would I tell you to make something normal people if you, something can only be normal if you've done it a bunch of times where it becomes a habit that's called normal. Again, I repeat it. If you if there's only existence, and that's in that's in the world of quantum mechanics. Now, I'm not saying this. I am saying this, but I'm I'm going to the mainstream or the individuals out there might be watching this. It might be trying to debunk or trying to figure out. Okay, what this guy talking? Let's see if this guy's talking any truth here. So I'm going to put the science out there. To science now says that the universe never had a beginning. It never had an end. The Big Bang was just a evolutionary part of a grander thing that always has existed. James Webb, Tel James Webb Telescope is now showing that. I am in the school, Bre Brenda Brenda is in the school, so Brenda can tell you about the school platform. She so, with that being said, if you've already existed, it literally means you have to done everything that you're trying to do now. It has already been normal in your subconscious mind. So if you are achieving or attempting to achieve a goal and you are trying and you are pushing and you are very, very attentive or not attentive, if you're very, very attached or you're very in the need of the goal you are looking to achieve, you are creating the resistance from getting it. The reason simply states is you create the resistance because 
you are blocking something that has already been a normal way for your entire infinite being of existence. Sabotage. So if you want to speed up your manifestation, you have to get into the state of making every single thing a normal routine. Next one. If you want to speed up your manifestation, you have to get into the state that there is no such thing as randomness or coincidence. Every single thing is a purpose affecting working out for your higher good. If you want to speed up your manifestation, you have to understand and know that your ego mind does not create, does not control, does not decide how or when something comes into your world. Your ego mind can only see, look, what has already been taken place through your inner being of higher self. If you want to speed up your manifestation, you go along with the flow, you do not push away the flow. What does Mark mean? Mark constantly talks about the flow. What is this guy talking about? Can you give me a simple explanation of the flow state, Mark? I can certainly do that. Here's a simple explanation of the flow state. If you can change if you can control it you can ch you change it if you cannot change it change the way you look at it or think about it that is the flow state is that very simple would you like me to repeat it do you understand what i'm saying here what you can change you change what you cannot change you change the way you perceive it. Okay, let's go deeper because maybe maybe some, most of you don't get get this point. What does this guy mean? If I can't change it, I change the way I look at it. Well, let, let, let me let me let me throw you for another loop. Okay. If I'm in a situation that I cannot change, here's what I do. I look at the situation in a positive way for me. I brainwash myself, I get delusional about it. If I'm, okay, if I'm around a person that is constantly toxic, my mother, my father, and I cannot change them because they're my parents, right? And every day they talk negative stuff, and every day they're like, oh, the economy and all this stuff. I can't change that because I'm living with them, right? So what do I do? My, situ my case, now if that happened to me, here's what I do. I understand that, okay, I cannot change their perception. I cannot change what they're thinking. But I can change how I respond and how I react to what they think. So whenever they think something negative or positive or negative situation, here's what I do. I now put myself into my own universe. I split them up. I said, mom and dad lives in their own universe, Mark lives in his. So now when they're talking this stuff, I'm outside of a bubble and I'm saying to myself, oh, that's their world, not my world. Oh, so tough, nothing works, da -da. Oh, that's your world, not my world. In my world, things are gonna go good for me. That is your world. I don't associate you with me. See that? So what have I done? I, the situation is still the same. They're still negative. They're still toxic. But guess what? It's only affecting them now. It's not going to affect me anymore because I have changed the way I see it. I turned it around. And let me show you what happens now. Here, here's a perplexing thing. Because I've turned the situation around, the situation now turns me around. So what in the end, in the end, the big picture, I've just changed 
something I could not change by perceiving it a different way, hence changing it to match me. I speed up anything I manifest this way with every single thing. See how it works? Now you see the power of the of the manifest. Yes, we're back. I'm live again. Just a lot of just, just a little um, glitch in the matrix. You did that. I know there's a lot of you joining this live, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk over again about this ticket I just got today. A claimer here. And I was telling the story about how the universe is not a random thing. That whatever you do, if you get your subconscious mind in a state, you can't not sabotage yourself. I went to get this, I went to get some scratch tickets. And this ticket, um, I was initially going to get this ticket. And then I decided not to get the ticket. My ego decided that, not to get the ticket. But my higher self did not decide that. And what, what, what do I tell you is going to happen? I say, even when your ego distracts you, your higher self will self-sabotage your ego to make you get this ticket. So let me show you what happens. So I am there. And look, look, how, look, how, the, look, how, look how that my inner being, my higher self, maneuver reality. The ticket, because you know when they pull the ticket out to pull the ticket to you at the last minute I changed my mind so she went to push back the ticket all the other tickets she boop, boop, boop. this ticket didn't want to go in it jammed you think that was random that wasn't random that was reality being bended and changed my higher self did that man I it, it, it create remember the universe is a rendering thing as we go along people it made the ticket jam because the ticket was already a winner. I didn't know it then. Now, let me let me say something. So what does it show us? Everything has already happened. Your higher self knows where all the, the top prizes are. It knows all the winning tickets. It knows all the combinations. It knows how to get you your successful business. It knows how to make you a, a, a billion dollar, million dollar stock trader. It knows how to make you win the game of crypto trade, whatever. It knows all, it knows how to make the break the algorithm to make you millions in stocks and trading you make it knows how to get you one million dollars a month a year in your real estate investment because it's already been done by just one little lottery ticket shows you that now if this wasn't true if this was not true if this was not true the ticket would have been jammed like it was and i would have got this ticket and this ticket would never been a winner then i'll say damn this stuff don't work is a coincidence then i would have said yeah but people this happened to me all the time it's not one incident it's a lot of stuff like this happen that's a lot of stuff like this happens to is happening to you once you're like you're tuning in right now so this this don't 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 think like oh this one no you see you see this all the time this, this is probably happening to you right now maybe some of you go ahead write your experience i'm sure this happens to you too so the ticket stuck in order for her to cash me out or do whatever she got to do, she had to open it up and take, that would take time. So a voice kicked in instantly. Mark, just buy the ticket so that she can close it up. That was the easy way to fix it. Bought the ticket. That's your higher self cutting off your ego. This is live on. Okay. So, the point is, guys, is that when you get to a level of this high state of awareness, this is going to be a normal occurrence for you every day. And not, not, this is not, not just a lottery. Now, lottery is definitely a part of it. Lottery is, you know, kind of my thing here. I, I kind of, it's, it's, it's a part, it's a part of my program our purpose to, to teach you and help you to change life if you follow me it's not I'm not I'm not strictly lottery there's a lot of lottery covers the entire spectrum of your life you can do anything 
emotion, everything. But the lottery is just like a little extra the universe throws in there for me to get you guys' attention and to show you that anything is possible. And many of many of you have used the lottery, and many of you have won big, and many of you are getting ready to win big, and many of you, this year is going to be a big breakthrough because you've learned the secrets. You've all got my book. You're reading the book. So it's not a matter of if you're going to win. It's just a matter of when you are going to win. That's all it comes down to. So all you have to do is stay in faith and keep your mind out of the picture. Someone says, how did, okay, uh, lottery is fun, hobby, and how much did I win? I think I answered that. This, this is a $1,000 winner. Lot, lottery is a fun hobby and a universal experience. Everything is a fun hobby and a universal experience. But the main point is this. The main, the main point I want to show you is, guys is that once you set up, but the thing now is, pay attention, how to speed up your manifestation. Here, here we go again. Here's the next one. Once you set up your subconscious mind a certain way, this is what happens every day in your life. So to speed up your, to speed up your manifestation, what's the lesson we learned today? That I, I went over a few of them, right? I can repeat some of them again. Speed up your manifestation. You speed up your subconscious mind by programming according to whatever it is that you're looking for. If you're looking to win the lottery, you're going to use subconscious programming for winning the lottery. If you're looking to manifest a house, you're going to use a subconscious program for manifesting my dream house. If you're looking to make more money, you're going to use a subconscious program to make you feel worthy and deserving. You're going to use a subconscious program that makes you attract a lot of money. If you're looking for love and a special person, you are going to use a subliminal program to help you to find your SP, your special person. See that? That's how you do this for them. If you're looking to speed up your manifestation, guess what? There is a subliminal that you can use that will just speed up your manifestation. If you're looking to manifest more money, manifest the lottery, all of that. By the way, I have those in my school platform. I have two powerful subliminals in my school platform. My money magnetizer and my win the lottery. They're, they're audio and video. It's a video and it's a audio at the same time. I have it on YouTube, but it's only like the 11 minute or 10 minute version here. But I have a full 22 minute version with extra stuff I put in the back. Only available for you guys in my school members. You can use those and it will help you to speed up your manifestation. All right. To speed up your manifestation, you must make yourself feel worthy and deserving of love or anything. That's called removing sub subconscious blocks. There are subliminals for that. These are ways that you speed up your manifestation. Okay. How do you call back your energy instantly? Your energy can never leave you. You're, you're, you don't need to call back your energy. You need to call back your awareness from the events around you, from your ego. You cannot leave, your energy cannot leave you. Remember what I said, and there's another thing, guys, remember speeding up your manifestation is what? Your, con your constant state of being is attracting what you want, not what you don't want. Now, let's talk about the biggest player in the game. It's not your subconscious mind now, we know that. But the biggest player in the game of preventing you from getting what you want is your own critical mind. Did you know that, by the way? We talk about that, right? You know your own mind is your worst enemy? I'm talking about your ego. I'm talking about your personality. I'm talking about your analytical mind. Did you, did you even know that? How many type down if you know that? Type below if you know, say yes, correct, or if you didn't know that you did. Did you also know that you cannot? Here's the rule when it comes to your mind. I'm going to tell you the rule, okay? Here's the rule 60% of your mind you cannot trust. I go even higher than that. 70% of your own mind you cannot trust. Your, your, that, yeah, I'm talking about your mind that's looking around every day and saying, I think that's 70% of it you cannot trust. 
Why? Tell me why. That's a bold claim. Why would I? Why would I criticize my own mind? <clears throat> why would I? Why? Why? 70, 80, 90, 100. So I can only th trust 30% of my mind. Tell me why. Well, you, I mean, you need to know this stuff. Because, I mean, just just, you just don't listen to me and I tell you, hey, just 70% of your mind don't trust. You're going to walk off and be like, Mark said don't trust 70% of my mind. Somebody's going to come to you and say, yeah, but why? And you can't answer the p person. You're like, huh. Mark never told me why. He just told me not to. So I have to show you why, right? So can anyone tell me? Why? Again, I am going. In, I am going. I'm. I am not going to answer this by my own opinion, by my own downloads. I'm going to use the neuroscience, and I'm going to use the funda fundamental laws of psychology and of quantum physics to do this for you. So that there's no. That's so you can't come back, and you can never say this guy is a liar. This is not true because I'm going to show you the sources, and you can go there for yourself. And you're gonna wake up and you're gonna be like, God damn, can't even trust my own mind. I'm looking, I'm looking for some answers. I haven't seen anyone yet close. Let me see if anyone's close here. The closest one I've seen here is some Sally. Because you because uh no, is it Sally? Oh actually Deb. Deb is the closest one. Deb says, where's Deb? It's going so fast. Oh, Debbie, sorry, I missed it. I think Deb's, Deb said something about uh, we're programming. Who else I got? Well, yes, okay, well, okay, this one is even better. No prop go pronto says, the mind keeps us in a survival mode all the time. Yeah, but why? My, my mind keeps me in a survival mode, so that means it's looking to help me survive. The mind is for protection. All that is going into survival mode. I'm looking for something deeper. Well, okay. Well, here's a, a man. This this one has to be the best one here. This is from Lamore. Lamore, hey Lamore. Lamore is in my school. If this is Lamore, she's in the school. The mind is limited. All right. So here's why 70% of your own mind lies to you. And gives you false evidence appearing real and also you miss out on a, your best um, success most of the time and here's the bottom line of how it works in your conscious logical mind okay frontal cortex right here it has a filter that's called psychological time. The reason your mind lies to you, and very, and this is simple, and you, you think Mark's gonna give you some, oh, Mark's gonna break it down. Genius, I, genius ideas and genius things come from the simplest thing. The reason why 70% of your mind lies to you is because you spend 70% in a lie in your future, and the past they do not exist okay. case closed okay case closed can I get a rebuttal on that okay let's let's dig deeper we spend most time revisiting thinking looking back looking forward in our mind 70 percent of those images of those thoughts of those things you're doing they do not exist every the past and the future have no realities of their own they are all borrowed from this moment your mind is, is you're in this moment your mind takes from the present and separates a past and a future it only is happening in the mind it, it's not happening now that's so you only have 
you only have 30%. Okay, so now you know 70% of your mind lying to you. So what what is the 30% you look to do with? Here, here is the answer, very simple. The next, the 30% of your mind is only to be used for the following. This is the only part of your mind you should listen to, trust, okay? Here it is. Make a decision on what you want. You gotta use your mind for that. Visualize what you want. You gotta use your mind for that. Become aware of the stuff going on around you of what you want. You gotta use your mind for that. That's the only thing your mind is good for. That's it. That's all it was, that's what it's designed to do. Now you see what I mean? So this, everything your mind and your eyes, they do tell you lies. Your mind will process the information. Here's a here's a phenomenal statistic that that's just that blows like that's out there in the world of neuroscience. Okay. Now, neuroscientists are now saying that even our memories you never remember your memory the same way it happened. As you, the thing you experience, your brain changes the perception and image of it. It lies to you about the thing you remember you did. It never actually happened that way. Go back in your memory. Think about something good that happened. And now you're remembering it. According to neuroscience, your mind has flawed it up and gave you a different image. And you never knew it. So you think you remember it the same way. It didn't happen that exact same way. How do they know this, Mark? Well, what they did... They had different people, individuals that were connected to each other over a number of years. And all of these people had, the, they were all in the same experience. So what they did, they, they split all of them up. And they asked them to, to, to recall what they did. None of those individuals had the same memory. Although they were all experiencing the same thing. So even your own memories are flawed. Well, this is great news for you because now you know your trauma, you can change it, it's flawed. You don't have to, you, you, now you can just go to your trauma. The trauma didn't really happen that way now. Think about the trauma a different way. Your mind will change it because that's, that's all your mind is good for is just making up different stuff. You see how it works? All right. Now, there's something else that will speed up your manifestation. And this is the number one speeding up manifestation knowledge that will set you free. Yes, revision really does work. Revision is just going and rewriting your story. But here, I'm going, before I, before, well, maybe you, maybe you could take a crack at it. Now, this thing here is not a technique you can do it's not a ritual you can do it's just me telling you something that's going to turn on something in your head and this will speed up your manifestation super fast it's a it's a it's a an information or a knowledge that i'm going to pass down to you and when i tell you this knowledge you already know the knowledge but i'm going to tell you again and then when i tell it to you when i reveal it to you now and you think about it and you accept it, I guarantee you it will speed up your manifestation super fast. You'll become a manifesting machine. You'll make more money. You'll make more stocks. You'll make more investment in your real estate. Your business will skyrocket. Your cleaning company, your renovation architect, your, if you're an actor or singer, you're making music, you're making beats, everybody's going to start running into you right now. You're going to get emails. You're going to get connects. It's literally going to change like right now. And you can still have limiting beliefs. And it will still change. Okay? This is the number can before I before I reveal it to you. Can anyone take a crack and and guess what it would be? It's it's not a technique, it's not a ritual, it's a knowledge. Wow, the guy's pretty very smart here. No pro, no pros on a roll. Very enlightened. No pro. I am the source of my own abundance. But let's 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 make it deeper. 
Okay. It's not meditation. It's none of that. It's 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 a light switch. It's going to turn on in your head. And I'm going to help you. I'm going to give you some evidence to show you this. Don Polo, yes. Quantum physics is the science that shows us how this stuff comes about. It's quantum physics is not it. I am the state allowing nope affirmations nope affirmations nope expectancy nope I told you it's not a it's not a thing you do it's a thing you be it's a state you are aware it's a state of it's a it's a new personality good you guys are good so here it is the number one thing that will speed up your manifestation is the truth and the realization that you my friend are God I repeat it again the number one thing that will speed up your manifestation I'm not telling you that it's a possibility I'm telling you that you are God you are the infinite multi universe streamed from one perspective as a tangible physical being and you have never been disconnected you've always been connected you never learned to trust your true self there is a verse in the Bible and it goes over all of your head it's in the Bible. They don't even tell you this. It says, I am the I am, and I listen to the inner being for guidance to create whatever I want. Some sense like that. It's in the Bible. The inner being, people, is the God force representing you as a human being. The religion mess you up. Religion tricked you. Religion put a cap on your ability. The Matrix put a cap on your ability. Your school put a cap on your ability. Your own parents put a cap on your ability. All right. If you want me to, if you would like me to, I mean, I'm going to ask you here. If you would like me to show you evidence of this to make it more believable for you, just comment below and I'll talk about it. But if you understand it and you're good with it, then we can move on. But if you want me to, to elaborate more on this, for, to get the deeper with, this, with the laws of neuroscience and quantum physics, I'll be happy to talk about it here with you and show you some groundbreaking evidence that you can go research that the church you can never show you and never want to reveal to you that your pastor or preacher will never mention this verse in the Bible to you because they have been told in, in Bible school and when they go to ministry school they have been taught in the biblical ministry school never to, to reveal these verses to you your church uses a, lot, a whole bunch of verses over and over, but there are certain verses they won't never talk to you about. Okay, so I will go. Many of you want to know, so let me let me go ahead. Uh, let me see how much time I have here. Okay, good. So let me let me go so I can make it understandable for you. All right. So here it is. All right. So now we know, right? Now we know. Um, the Big Bang is not the beginning of our universe. So we, now we know that the universe is infinite. Okay? Now, since the universe is infinite, begs the question, does the universe have a creator? Something infinite doesn't create, it just exists. Okay, the next thing you have to understand is beginning and end are human constructs. They only exist in a 3D world. When you go outside of the universe or go outside in space, there is no beginning or end. 
when a proton disintegrates, an electron disintegrates, when it disappears, it doesn't end. It goes into another state or another dimension. Hence, there is no beginning or end in the universe. So we're gonna, I'm going to move up to that. So the first thing I have to understand. All right. Since there is no beginning or end in the universe, the raw materials of the universe, about 70 to 80 percent of the universe, is what we call plasma. Plasma is what creates the electrons and the protons and the atoms that are running through your blood at this very moment. They create the stars that give us light, the heat that drives your evolution. Now, since the protons and the electrons are a fundamental force of this, then what is generating the organization of these forces to make DNA, to make life, to make planets, to make stars? What is the force of that? It is your awareness. An observer, your reality can never exist without an observer. If you are observing reality right now, you are the creator, the generator, God of your reality. You are God. Let me go a little bit further. Since you are an observer, which all of you are, all of you have awareness. So if you're, if you're observing. Now, the cells in your body came from the infinite space. Did you know that right now it's called, it's, they even given the term, it's called the hard problem of consciousness. That's what they call it. As I speak to you right now, no matter how eloquent and good physics is and how eloquent neuroscience is, smartest people in the entire world, they cannot explain to you what awareness is. You only know you are aware. See guys, the fact that you know you are aware, the awareness is the God. The awareness is what they call the consciousness. Consciousness, God streams itself down and make you a human being. You didn't come from the Garden of Eden. That car just made the sound and says, correct. You generated your own self as an experience. Are you understanding? Okay. Now, by me telling you this information, By me telling you this information right now, a switch is going to go off in your head. There it goes again. Just, you just, who said it? As you say, it says car confirmation. Sound like a Hellcat. This is a Hellcat. Just run off again. You see, here's how it works now. Because you are a god. A god has no feelings the best way I could put it to you to understand I have to I have to get choose carefully so that you can understand this I have to I have to define the word God to you so you can let's get away from the God of the religion here's the God I'm talking about okay because and I'm getting the information as I'm talking to you right now so I can make you understand this because uh, because a conscious observer which you are at the truest level of awareness, awareness can never experience pain, suffering, or any of that thing. An, aware, uh, an awareness person can only become aware of the pain, the physical person experiences the pain. 
So because you're an awareness thing there, you, everything around you has no effect on your higher being. So the pain that you're going through, the self-sabotage that you're going through, your God self is doing that as a fun thing to experience it. It's not serious to your God self. It's serious to you. Because your God self knows that none of this stuff matters anyway because you can go up there and change it. It's your ego that they play on. The ego is what they play on to dissolve your God self. See, when you were growing up, they put a lot of stuff in your conscious mind so you forget your God mind. So if they can have your conscious mind be more focused on the past and the future, it will take you away from thinking about your God self. And then they further implement it by putting you in Sunday school and religion and church to solidify more programming from your God self. And then to esca escalate it more, what they've done, they now say that since we can keep them from their God self, let's make it even more real. So what we do now, we create beginning and end in our society, and we also create lack and abundance in our society. So it gives you the illusion of scarcity. That scarcity is just enough that your ego needs for you to constantly live in survival mode. If you're in survival mode, you cannot get into God mode because the cells in your body are in a constant look around for danger. Okay? So are you understanding this? So in layman's terms, you are in a trance from your God self. They hypnotize you in a state, like the matrix. When they plug you in, and then when you plug out, you're real, but when they put the thing in the back of your head, you're in a trance. The trance is propagated by electrochemical stimuli known as emotions, specific emotions now, specific emotions. Here they are. These are what keeps you in a trance. Fear, anxiety, those are the two most powerful emotions that keep you in trance. I could prove it to you. you. Want me to prove it to you now? I got a little bit more time. I can go deeper on this now. I can show you evidence of this. Go look at your local um, media. Go look at the programming and go look at how our society developed. Everything now is propagated on creating a response to fear and anxiety. A matter of fact, the number one prescription of all mental, go look at this for yourself, the number one prescription of all mental illnesses have been prescribed for anxiety. Anxiety is what creates depression, man. Anxiety is what creates fear. If, you, if, they, if I can keep you in a state of anxiousness, your central nervous system doesn't shut down. It stays alert, which creates a lot of cortisol, which keeps you more in a fight or flight. So that's what's happened. It's like a druggie. They drug you up. It's like when they put you on drugs and they keep you high 24-7 that you can't get out of it. So now, I just get, now listen now. I just gave, I gave it to you. I told you the truth. I just told you the truth. This should wake a lot of you up right now. And this should send you, this should, this, this should send you on another journey to, to, to research this even more. I just create a whole new lane for you right now. And the more, the further you go into this rabbit hole, the further truth you are going to see for yourself. And it's going to shock you. The shock, the shock really comes when you say to yourself, damn, I wasted all my time. I didn't realize this. I could have done and changed everything in my life if I knew this. But the good news is, 
You still can do it now. Okay. All right. And let me give you one more evidence to show you that you are the gods. All right. So what creates life on this planet, in this three-dimensional world we live in, is what's called a star. A star is a sun. There's different levels of suns. You have a red dwarf, super giants. Some stars are so big when they collapse, they create black holes. Some stars, when they collapse, they just create white dwarfs. Our sun is known as a natural star. In the star, it creates what's called nuclear fission. Okay, it uses plasma and energy. It doesn't use fire, like you think. So within the star, when the star explodes, the, the guts of the star spills out all the raw materials to create a human being. So the blood, the iron that's pumping in your body is from an exploding star. Remember, the sun gives life. Without the sun, you cannot exist. Okay, let me go to the next point to show you something. Your body needs what's called vitamin D. It's something that you need and it's created from the sun. The sun is connected to your being. Hence, you are from the sun. You are the sun representing a three-dimensional world from your higher conscious state of being. If you go out in the sun, you'll get vitamin D. Now, now, now you guys are waking up. I'm, I'm glad, but see, so someone, you've already started the trend. Marcel Cullum says, Marcel Cullum says, that's why coffee is the number one drug. That's why entertainment, sports is the number one. Anything that can keep you anxious. Anxious is a state of no, not knowing. No. Anything they can do to keep that to you, the longer you stay in the trance. And you keep you anxious, you get more stress. Listen, I'm, here's a big picture I want you to understand. I got five minutes. Here's a big picture. All of that is just made to just for keeping you from going and finding out your God self. So it's not being done to just make you stress or keep you anxious or make you depressed. That's all just a side effect of it. That, that, that doesn't matter. It's just that it's distracting you enough where you cannot go out and think beyond. And then your inner being talks to you because your inner being is constantly talking to you as we speak. But if you're distracted, you cannot listen to your inner being. That's all they're doing. They don't want you to bridge the connection to your inner being. If you bridge the connection to your inner being, you'll start doing a lot of wonderful, crazy, magnificent stuff. And then the shift of power changes. And you can't have you can't have too many people now knowing this stuff, man. You know, you can't have too many people knowing this stuff. So just to let you know, it's just not it's just not gonna work. Okay, that's why they put fluoride in water. Also, it shuts down the pineal gland. That's why they, in your house, you have curtains in your house. When you have curtains, cur a lot of curtains in your house, it blocks the sunlight and it blocks your pineal gland from opening. That's why when they make houses, they make house with curtains. Your ancestors never lived with curtains. Your ancestors, our ancestors lived in homes that had enough uh, to let the light in. Now these apartments and everything they make, the windows are a lot smaller, the windows are more tinted, you have all these curtains, they tell you get designer curtains. I'm not saying nothing wrong with curtains now. I'm just showing you a big picture of how subtle things can just dumb you down little by little and you don't have no awareness of it. So, all right, and the last one I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you the biggest one, okay? 
to show you that you are the God. Okay, it's called your pineal gland, your third eye. That's your cell phone to talk to yourself. That's your communication. Your third eye is your phone that you can call home, that you can look, download, and get on the internet from your God self. That's, that's your third eye. So if, if I could limit the signal from your third eye, your phone's not going to work. Your internet's going to run slow. Your conversation's going to be choppy. So once you get your third eye open up, then you're going to see like a lot of stuff. So a, a third eye, you gotta let it come up. But now, don't, don't, no, just don't go rushing trying to open your third eye. Now you gotta relax. When you open your third eye, you're gonna see telepathy. You're gonna get remote viewing. You're gonna get a whole bunch of crazy stuff. And the third eye is best done organically. You don't want to go speed up and open your third eye because your ego is gonna give you a lot of like emotions and crazy stuff. You're gonna see like trippy things, and it's not good for the mind. It really is not good. You have to you have to wean it in. You have to slowly do it. All right. That's what I want to leave you with today, guys. And I'll see you next time. You want to learn more deep stuff? That's my school platform. I teach you how to connect to that inner being higher self. You want to get more guidance? You know I got my one-on-one -on -one coaching. You can sign up. I know a lot of you guys have been telling me, Mark, you need to talk more about your coaching. Well, here it is. Now you can get expert one-on-one -on -one guidance to lock you in. And... I just want to leave that with you guys, and I will see you guys again next time. And remember, don't forget it, because it is the truth of who you are. Look at this. I will see you guys again next time.